Hey guys, uh, back with another video. Uh, excuse my voice, uh, I had the flu. But, I just wanted to show you today the progress of my 747-100 cardboard cockpit. It is a fully functional cardboard cockpit. And uh, I actually made this main instrument panel a while back, about a month ago. And there's no center pedestal, no extended center pedestal. Um, originally, I only had this front piece, this front part, the front of the cockpit. And you can see the space for the uh, MCP autopilot. I haven't put it on that yet. I'll show you guys that later. I'll show you guys that later. Um, but what I added is a second seat in the back, which is for the flight engineer. And here is the sort of small... A flight engineer panel. I couldn't make the full thing because I literally have no space. So I just shrunk it. Um, and here's what I have of it. So, uh, um, it's got a lot of controls on it. And I'm still working on it. Still have to um, get the hydraulic power tanks, B, and standby finished. But I have the uh, main things all already put in. So you can sit down at the flight engineer's seat. Here's what we have. You can see the APU control. I actually copied that off of 737. Um, this is the engine power. Uh, percent, 100 percent, 74 percent, and 75 percent power. We got the fuel quantities. Mm -hmm. Fuel quantity readings in all the tanks. We've got fuel flow valves. The engine status. There's the engine temperature. Still got to put in a speed gauge. Up here is the uh, tire pressure. There's one for each landing gear, as you can see, and there are warnings for each. Down here, there are rare verification buttons. So, for example, when you take off, when the captain takes off and puts the gear up, I can switch it to up. And when they turn it off, I can switch it off. So, uh, in case anything happens to the lever up there, uh, the flight engineer panel will override it so nothing happens. Up here you have the unfinished mic selector panel for the radio. There's the... Uh, more levers for the landing gear. This is hydraulic pressure for the landing gear. You can see the fault lights and uh, oil temperature and oil pressure. So yeah, you got a bunch of stuff. You can actually move these switches out. So yeah. Uh, up here I wanted to show you the main sort of panel here. Got a throttle. And thrust reverse. The speed brake. It's actually automatic. I'll show you two in the next video after I have more progress, but and there's the horizon control. You can actually move it. And then this is what I wanted to show you, the main panel. So this is actually pretty cool. So you have the altitude cell, and what you can do is literally change the numbers. Let me show you. As you can see, it's changing. So you can change it. Vertical speed works. And then, got another one. So yeah, you got a number of cool features. You got the uh, autopilot controls. And yeah, so that's what I have of this, um, this cockpit. It's supposed to fit in.
and right here. But yeah, so that's what I have of the cockpit. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll do many more updates on this cockpit. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video.